get your take. Here we have a former president for the first time today indicted and in a court of law and charged with 34 felonies. Uh, look, uh, I look at it, every lawyer I've talked to has looked at it. There's not one person that believes that this is a legitimate charge. They don't even know how they... This is a convoluted, new novel legal theory that they brought in just for Donald Trump. But your thoughts watching this today? Hmm. You know, one of the raps against Donald Trump is that he violates the norms. And as a result, the Democrats had no choice. Prosecutors had no choice. But, Sean, what's happened to Donald Trump is actually the real violation of the norms. He was impeached the first time by a process that did not even go through the Judiciary Committee. They wrecked the Bipartisan Intelligence Committee at the hands of Adam Schiff to get Donald Trump. The second time they tried to impeach him, knowing it would not succeed, they didn't even go through that process. They put it right on the floor and shoved it down everybody's throats. And now you have a prosecutor in overwhelmingly lopsided ideologically Democrat, 85 to 15 Democrat to Republican Manhattan, going after Donald Trump. Here's what I hope happens next, Sean. I earnestly hope that conservative prosecutors in rural areas of America indict Bill Clinton, indict Hillary Clinton, indict Hunter Biden. Their only way to stop this and return to the norms is for one side to realize if they go too far, the other will match them. And that is not the way we settle our disputes in America. They should be settled at the ballot box, not through the courts. But Republicans cannot unilaterally disarm. You can't let them try to interfere in the 2024 election by doing to Donald Trump what they're doing. And I say that as somebody who will criticize Donald Trump when he goes too far. The Democrats are violating the norms, and they're especially doing it through this case, this weak case in Manhattan. Well, you got a lot of low-hanging.